This is a brother, WP95, a brother word processor. The manual says uh, 1989, and inside I found something that dated to 1990. So we think the unit is a 1990. This was my grandmother's, and she used it to write her books and do grandpa's ledgers and stuff like that. Unfortunately, she's sort of she's got dementia, right? So she's trapped inside her own head. And um, on the other channel, Nelson Studios, I did a thing where I fired it up, and I was able to get it to read some of the discs and look at some of the stuff Grandma had written from all those years ago. You know, I wanted to save it. It was her word, her voice, but I just got so much crap and I, I can't afford to be nostalgic about basically this old typewriter. I looked into selling it on eBay but it had a damaged hinge on the keyboard. It was missing the advancement knob on the patent and the, uh, the front latch was broken. So you saw you saw ones in great shape selling for like 50 bucks. So what was this going to sell for? So I took it apart. Shay and I had fun. A lot of actual brother components. Looks like they made their own stuff. Well, that's pretty cool. It is an indexing punch wheel. So embossed on the, we'll call them fins, of that plastic wheel were all of the letters and numbers, uppercase and lowercase, and it had a stepper motor that rotated it. It uh, must have been ungodly slow. I was never able to get this thing to print. But it's cool. You could you could pull that cartridge out and change your font. Change anything, really. But that was the only way to change the font. There's the stepper motor right there. That was the only way to change the font. You had to replace the entire plastic disc. It's really kind of cool. Then we'll all be ready to go. So this is the disk drive. I was never able to get it to work reliably. I'm not sure entirely if it's 
the disc that are bad or if the drive is itself got some problems. I, either or, I suppose, is, is incredibly valid at this point. I was trying to figure out who made it. Right? There's a lot of Taiwanese parts in this thing, which would make sense coming from the late 80s. Uh, what I didn't expect was to open up the cover and find a U.S. made brother parts. It's a appears to be a brother specific drive which I thought was impressive back when we made things. So there was a mess of chips, um, including brother chips. There was some NECs and uh, Texas Instruments, believe it or not, on there. Single, single depth board, just your real standard. <laughs> we got an awful lot of room inside this thing. There is no need to get fussy. That's the power supply. Got some big filtering caps and whatnot. Who knows, maybe we'll blow some of those up. It's been a while since we did that. So the keyboard was held together with some serious hardware and connected to the computer body or word processor body with a telephone cord. Not a whole lot of chips, some big ribbon cables. They were big old clunky chunk, 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 very tactile very very tactile keys which made sense the manual talked about how you know, it would feel different than your typewriter so they're making it try to feel more typewriter like just your what do they call it acetate keyboard and cover little rubber micro switches big clunky keys I don't know how they got them in or out it's kind of cool though hey, Dad, this is pretty cool. look at all the stuff printed on this thing Look at all of it. There are four or five different keys that you could hit. It's all manual, right? No F keys here. Pretty cool little Taiwanese Mashuta, Mashutita, 12 volt CRT. Green. I had a TRS 80. That was the very first computer I had as a kid. Date myself a bit. I had the same sort of look and feel as that old TRS-80. Just that, uh, going for a ride. That green cathode ray tube kind of thing. Anyways, we'll do something cool with it. Microwave it. Um, I don't think we've done a little one on the high-speed camera. So we'll blow it up on the high-speed camera and see what sort of patterns we get. I got some great tempered glass shots the other day. But I only have those slow motion stuff. We appear to have lost the camera. For life of me, I can't figure out what happened to it. <laughs> I hope I didn't put it on top of the car or something stupid like that. Here I'm just I'm just popping the jokes apart for the cat for the copper. 